When Darwin Minton broke into the home of Rick Morrow in July 1987, he severed the phone line, slipped into a bedroom, and shot Rick Morrow in the head. Minton also sexually assaulted Morrow's wife. Morrow survived. He was able to grab a gun and shot some of Minton's fingers off. His wife got Minton's gun and ran to the neighbors for help. Minton's sister spoke on her brother's behalf and made this promise. You know, I am my brother's keeper. I will box his ears every day. But where he's situated in our house, his room is past art. Even when he get up for water, whatever thing, I would know his every move. Rick Morrow also spoke, reminding the board of how brutal the attack was. I was shot three times. My wife was right in front of me. He was going to rape and kill my five and ten year old kids. Morrow added that Minton has already had time reduced. So he already had half of his sentence reduced with the plea bargain, which was unnecessary because he was. Minton tried to convince the board he's a different person today. I realized that I, I, you know, hurt someone very seriously, you know, and I don't feel good about that, you know. I, you know, I'm ashamed of what I've done. Morrow doesn't believe Minton is rehabilitated. No remorse. So I don't believe anything I hear. The board unanimously agreed. Any kind of a, a parole I think would depreciate the whole system. The final irony for Rick Morrow, even though Minton was denied parole, his mandatory release is this June.